Hello and welcome back. Today I'm gonna finally show you what I've been up to sorting my t-shirts and getting this thing from the Buy Nothing group. Do you wanna see what I got from the Buy Nothing group? A drum roll, please. Inside this bag, I have a large cutting mat and a rotary cutter so that I can make cuts rolling along the mat. So, I guess first I'm gonna to have to figure out how to use this thing. There we go, okay. I guess there's a safety latch on this one. That's kind of clever, huh? The reason why I sorted my shirts is because I want to use them to make two things. Number one, I want to make a memory blanket out of all of the designs. And then number two, I want to use the extra scrap material to make some face masks. I kind of felt like time is of the essence for this one. I've been putting this off forever. I, I've known about this pile of t-shirts for a long time and always wanted to put them together to make many different things one total thing that I can use and love and have it bring me joy instead of just kind of sitting on my shelf in the t-shirt drawer. I watched a video about how to make the no sew mask out of t-shirts. It looks really easy and I think I should be able to, um, to do it using what I have here, uh, but it's gonna take a little bit of experimentation and then it's also gonna be a little bit tricky because I wanna save the front of the shirts but keep the back. Front of the shirt, quilt, back of the shirt, face mask. So I think I'm gonna need something to use as a straight edge. Let me go see if I can find something. All right, I think that this plastic flexible cutting board would work really well as a straight edge. Maybe it's a little bit short, but um, I think it'll work. It'll work. I'm going to attempt to make these face masks that I saw on a YouTube video. So uh, here goes. I'm a little bit nervous because I don't want to ruin any of the shirts. And I also want to be able to make good face masks for myself and to share. So let's see how this goes. The first step is to cut off the bottom hem. Sure, all right. Here goes, first cut. Cool, first cut done. Okay, so since I want to preserve the front of the shirt, use the back of the shirt. I think I have to cut the sides off. Ooh. Okay, this cut did not turn out as nice. So it looks like I need 10 inches per mask for adult. That would be one inch each for two straps and then eight inches for the actual mask part. Now I'm gonna start making some more cuts. Okay. All right, I got my square piece. Now I have to make it into a mask. Let's see if this works. So put this first strip right here and the second strip right here. And then I'm gonna fold it over. like something. Can't have my sleeves interfering with this important work that I'm doing today. Okay, so now I tie these two together. I think when she pulled the jersey t-shirt, the 
strings that a little bit longer too, and I don't know if that's gonna affect this mask. Let's see. All right. I don't know, I have my doubts. So this part goes here. Nope, okay. Um. Oh, okay, I really didn't want this to be a fail video. So I'm gonna try this again with a more stretchy t-shirt and see if it works a little bit better. And when I'm sewing a little bit more, maybe I can make this one work a little bit better. But here is my mask kit. I guess I'm gonna just start the steps from the beginning. For better or for worse, I am using a lot of mass-produced t-shirts that don't have any fancy contours to them, so the shirt itself is just straight up and down. Although, when was the last time you ever saw a human being that was just straight up and down? These shirts are not really made to fit us very well. They're mostly made to get us to spend money and think that and feel good that we bought something new. Now, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna try to pre-scrunch it. I don't know, let's see. Wow, this is really comfortable. I just made my first mask. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I could even uh, untie this and tie it like this so that it goes around the ears. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's okay. The fit was a lot better when it was around the head. Even though this is a no-sew pattern, I do know how to sew, so I can probably make it so that uh, it'll stay together. It'll stay put a little bit better. Maybe with some contrast stitching, and that'll make it a lot easier to put on and, and uh, fit the ties. All right, let's see if I can make another one. Do you remember this shirt? I decided that since I like the print, but I don't really like the fit, I think I'm just gonna make it uh, part of the blanket. And this one has this kind of like wonky twisting hem, if you can see. The hem kind of twists. I think it's because it was a really cheap shirt. I bought it in a subway station in Korea. And that will add a little bit of challenge to making this one. Let's see what happens. This is so crooked. It's crazy. Like, how did they cut this out in a pattern? I'll make another one. It stays on so well and it really is like pretty comfortable. This was from the first 5k that I ran in Skopje and I tie-dyed it with the scouts in Kichibo. I think it's pretty cool if I don't say so myself. Okay, so that took a lot longer than I thought it would. I basically made masks until the sun went down, but um, I'm pretty proud of what I did. Let's count how many masks I made. One, two, three, 17. So um, 
I think I'm gonna keep working on these and see if I can improve on it a little bit with some stitching so that the cloth stays in place a little bit better. But I'm really looking forward to finishing them and I'm really looking forward to giving them to people who need them. And I still have all of these to deal with to make the quilt. I think I'm gonna wait a little while to do that until these are all done because I think the masks are a little bit more priority. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos, more of what I do during my 1515 period, during the coronavirus lockdown, and I'll see you next time. Bye.